So far, the focus has been on Sidharamaya and D.K. Shiv Kumar, but along with them, eight cabinet ministers are being sworn in. Let's take you through each of them and the social section that they represent, starting with G. Parameshwara, former KPCC president. Remember, he was KPCC president in 2013 when the party came to power. Former Home Minister as well is from the Tumkur region of Karnataka, represents the SC right face. Then you have K.H. Muniappa, seven-time MP, a very senior leader, former Union Minister. He represents the SC left face of the party, also from the old Mysore region. Then you have Priyank Karge, son of the AICC President Malika Arjun Karge. He is from the Hyderabad, Karnataka region, represents the SC right face of the party. Then you have M.B. Patil from Mumbai, Karnataka, the campaign committee chairman and the Lingayat face of the party. He'll be sworn in today. Then you have Zamir Ahmed, Ramalinga Reddy and KJ George. All three of them Bangalore City MLAs and strong leaders. Zamir Ahmed considered a right hand of Siddharamaya. KJ George, former Home Minister and Ramalinga Reddy an eight-time MLA from Bangalore City. And then apart from these you have Satish Jarkioli who's from the SCT community and is from Belgaum. He's from the powerful Jarkioli family in Belgaum and that's that regional accommodation there. So pretty much the optics the Congress is trying to send out is one where it wants to show a social inclusion in the cabinet, the first cabinet that's going to be sworn in uh, and of course there will be an expansion of it in the coming days. But for the moment the optics firmly is to ensure that it's not only focused on Siddharamaya and DK Shiv Kumar but then there is both regional as well as representation for different social groups.